This is a quick proof of concept to show you how to create a 3D shape with conical label to match an existing conical die line. Let's assume, for example, that we do not have access to this 3D model. This model will require a conical label on the neck and a rectangular label on the bottom. The only thing that we do have is an image that we placed here in Illustrator representing these two areas. How can we now create a studio label? Using shift option spacebar as I am creating a circle, I am aligning that circle <clears throat> with the inner part of that conical shape. Try to be as precise as possible. This is pretty time consuming. And I sped up this part of the video a little bit. But take your time to precisely match that shape. Once you have that, copy paste. And create a second circle to match the bottom portion of that conical label. Once we have that, we are going to use the diameter of these two objects and enter that in our Excel calculator. Make sure your document is set to millimeters since the spreadsheet is using millimeters. The small diameter is 136.247 millimeters. And the large circle diameter is 329.754 now we need one more component and that is the angle as specified here in order to find out that angle we are going to create a new line starting from the center of the circle in order to prevent moving the circles we'll go ahead and lock these two layers for the ellipse and why not create a new layer for that line that we're going to use in order to determine that angle. So again try to position that line as exact as possible, as precise as possible right there. And now we're going to take the pivot point and move that up right here using the rotate tool, shortcut R. We're going to take that center point, move that to the start of that line, pan, zoom out. grab that bottom point of this line and move that, swing that over to the right. And we can get a nice readout now, right here, as you can see, 65.3 degrees. Let's head back to our calculator and key in that value. 65.3 degrees. Once we enter these three values, we now get our feedback to recreate this label. 
large radius, small radius, and the height are displayed right there. So let's create that by using our line segment tool. I'll align that on the crosshair. Specify the length that we just found in our resulting calculator. Let's just position the shorter line down here at 12.36 millimeters. And then we have our vertical segment, our height. Uh, and that will be a 270 degree angle. So we just click once, enter that with 95.15 and a 270 degree angle. Notice I fill this with a 0.25 point stroke. So we can visualize this. Now we snap that to the top right. And again, using our rotate, we grab the center point. Let's position this a little bit further down. Oh, whoops. Let's use our shift arrow down to move that down. Rotate, grab that center point, align that at the beginning of the line, and match that with the bottom line right there. Let's zoom in and see if they meet. Not yet. Let's get in a little closer. And that looks like a perfect snap right there. If not, uh, move that bottom line up or down to match that uh, angle. So after selecting uh, all three lines, use uh, Command Shift 8 or go to the ESCO menu, uh, Label Toolkit to revolve, pick the appropriate axis, go to the next step, use a roll around label to create that printable area. So move that all the way down the base. I'm doing this interactively here, but I could just specify zero if need be. And snap that all the way to the top. Let's do a save as. Save this Collada file and place it in the document. And we have the exact match right here. One problem I notice is uh, it's upside down. Um, so, but you can already tell that um, it matches the image pretty close. So let's quickly um, invert that. So I selected all three lines there rotated that 180 degrees again select all three command shift 8 add that printable area create and overwrite your collada file and place it again in the document And as you can see now, it is aligned perfectly. We can now use the Move Structural Design tool to align that to check if we have a good match. And now we can start creating our artwork and distorting the artwork um, for production. So hope that helped. Thanks for watching.